a discussion on the acquisition of meters on primetime radio on any day is one that will surely reveal the ordeal many power consumers encounter to get electricity to their homes. My issue is, if you don't have the meters, why do you collect our money in the first place? I have a question. Last, and my meter has been off since August. Mm -hmm. And I went, the, I went to the ECG in Turkey to ask for a new meter back in September. Right. And they told me they will come. They gave me, um, they gave me a, um, a false number to keep calling. So when I call, they told me, oh, they will come, they will come, they will come, they will come. And it was back and forth all throughout. How do you know why... I mean, acquiring a ECG meter is very difficult. The result of a cumbersome process and the shortage of meters has given way to the emergence of fraudsters and syndicates that are dominated by middlemen. Some corrupt staff of ECG, Energy Commission, contractors hired by the power distributor, and even some private security guards at ECG offices. The result of the activity is the proliferation of fake meters scattered across the country. The Ashanti Regional Revenue Protection Manager, Kofi Danso, admits the use of fake meters has become an albatross we are working tirelessly to deal with. This is affecting us seriously. It is all over the place. A lot of the customers who owe us, they abandon our meter and they go for these fake meters so that they never pay. I have a lot of cases. They charge between the 1000 and as, as much as 2500 a recent exercise to map and rope meters onto the ECG database at the Kwabenya district revealed there were 15,000 users who were using power without paying a dime to the state. A reality that the managing director of ECG, Samuel Dubik Mahama, is unhappy about. That after we finished the Kwabenya exercise, we realized we had over 15,000 new customers that we didn't know of mm. in our system. According to him, ECG loses an estimated 2.8 billion CDs as a result of illegal power connections. This thing is a big moral responsibility and values fight. We need to stop. We need to stop. Because you, one of the newspapers tried to do a calculation, but he's not far off. We lose over a billion Ghana CDs. In illegal connections why so it, and actually i'm saying it's close because it's more so you lose more than one billion i believe strongly with your more. calculations how much do you lose for every percentage lost for the last calculation that is about 100 million cities and you lose what percentage now right now ecg's losses are at about 28 percent so that's 2.8 billion exactly this revelation is alarming but one fact that did not come up in the discussion is the faces behind this nation wrecking activity. The Joy News investigative team decided to visit ECG offices in three regions to ascertain the extent of the Kanka. At the Accra East Regional Office and Sub Transmission Office near Makola, I met Abraham, an ECG staff at the meter's office. He said a separate meter which ordinarily goes for 800 Ghana CDs, will cost me 2,000 CDs. He showed me documents he had processed for a different customer, but was willing to transfer it to me only if I would pay the amount. The last time the price, you said how much? The price, the price, the price, how much? Oh, 2,000. Yeah, this one reduces it a little for me. How do you go about it? I give you... I give you thousand five when I come for it, and I give you the balance. Oh, oh okay, no problem. He advised that if I followed the established process, I would have to wait for almost a year to get the meter. He, however, promised that he could assist me to get a meter if I paid just a little more than the statutory fees to him. I'm giving this 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 one for someone. Okay. Uh, the person also not ready now. Uh, let me hold on. If who is ready, I'll give it then you can give it. He boasts of helping many individuals struggling to secure such meters at ECG offices. In Abraham's confession, three prospective customers will soon be beneficiaries of these meters he's working on after they paid 2,000 CDs each.
this 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 written for someone so okay and program it says last two weeks okay but it's not reflecting so okay. there's a clip here okay. have to reflect okay. you use the card to buy okay and that is here okay. but it's not reflecting okay. then when it's not reflecting you can store it when you okay. store it the person cannot purchase okay then you are on the customer okay so i just want to give you a receipt okay the official receipt the general process you know I don't want to pull the pull in my last year, yeah, so yeah. the best time, nobody got time. Abraham is not alone in this business of providing meters. But this energy commission staff who identified himself as Jerry at the Kwabenya office of the ECG is another operative in the street. This is the exact district the ECG identified over 15,000 customers who were using power illegally. Jerry promised he will help me acquire a meter. He asked me to pay 2,500 CDs. After I made part payment to Jerry, he delves a bit deeper into how he got meters for people like me who are in dire need of a meter but are unable to wait for months before they would be assigned one. Jerry and his accomplices transfer the transaction details of another prospective customer to those offering to pay more for meters. I have to get something to attach to. Something else. Like, uh, like the 500. So you had to come for him, I will take it. I know that you become for him. Normally, if I have to do the thing, if you come for him. Okay, that's what I'm But you are going to get the receipt to them. No, no, we'll get the receipt. Because it's in someone's name. It will be to you. When I give it to you, go and check it. It will be to you. At the Achimota ECG office, I came across this ECG contractor. He gave his name as Sami. He blamed the difficulty in acquiring meters on the shortages in the system. He also charges at least 2,500 CDs to provide separate meters. But the ECG boss, Samuel Dubik Mahama, insists this claim is inaccurate. The company has enough stock of meters to serve customers. To be very honest with you, we do have scarcity of meters now. Under the loss reduction program, the meter manufacturing companies have made meters available. I can say on authority that we've installed almost more than 60,000 meters since, since uh, the beginning of this year. There are meters to be installed. Please do not pay these exorbitant prices. In the eastern regional capital of Kofuridia, this middle-aged man gave his name as Seth at the ECG office there. 
he charges 1,500 CDs for the unauthorized meter. He claims 1,200 CDs of the money goes into processing and documentation, and the remaining 300 CDs pay persons he described as his superiors who facilitate the acquisition. The suspect in this trading of fake meters stretch beyond the staff of ECG and the Energy Commission. At the ECG Ashanti SPU headquarters, the chief security officer, who gave his name as George, is in charge of the cartel here. He says acquiring a meter can be a difficult task if one attempts to follow due process. He tells me he can secure a separate meter for me at a fee of 2,000 CDs. This money, he claims, is paid to officials of ECG to facilitate the process. After learning of the faces behind the fake meter trade and their mode of operation, I have returned to the Accra East Regional Office and Sub Transmission Office. I paid the full amount requested by Abraham. He dispatched one of his team members, Simon Atanga, to fix a meter at the pseudo location I provided them. Within hours, I had a separate meter that was powering the electrical gadget in this makeshift home. I inquired from Simon while he was fixing the meter. When should I expect a bill to be brought for me to pay? He said two months. The meter readers will be here to take the details. The day the meter reader was supposed to show up was June 15, but close monitoring revealed that no meter reader was assigned to conduct this business. I removed the meter after three months of free electricity. Mr. Dubik Mahama described as regrettable acts by some staff of ECG to thwart efforts to pluck the revenue leakages in the value chain. He promised to deal with the individuals cited in the Joy News expose. The meter doesn't cost 2,500. Why are you paying 2,500? Again, after the meter was given to the person, as you saw, no meter reader was assigned. So consumption was just going on. These are things that are so sad that we, 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 we as a citizens or we as a group of people in this country have to sit up and ask ourselves some very few questions and as to how we can get these things solved as quickly as possible. But believe you me, we are going to put in some measures to close these gaps and then fish out those who have been doing this within the company and, and let the needful happen. I know in the past, um, some staff who were attempting to steal power were punished. Um, what are the details on that? So some of them were sent to court. Um, after I took office, we have made sure that those processes are still ongoing. Some have finished. Those whose uh, properties have been seized have been seized. Those who have promised to pay some of the money back are also in the process of doing so. We are going to make sure that whatever the company has lost, the company will get it back. That I can assure the good people of Ghana. 
It is worthy to state that this investigation was undertaken when the ECG boss, Samuel Dubik Mahama, launched his revenue collection drive. What this means is the power distributor had lost revenue because of the few CDs some unscrupulous staff take from prospective customers desperately in need of power when the leadership of the company are also tirelessly working to pluck the leakages in the system.